Shalom. I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rarakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the elder apostles of the great millstone who will. Peace and salutations to the holy tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And once again, another low moment for so called black America. A lot of our women are a big fucking embarrassment to our nation. Not to say that the men aren't either, but I mean, just look at who's at the forefront. Now, if I play this video, you know, you're guaranteed to uh, have vexation of spirit. You know, you're going to get a little disgusted. But, um, you know, this is where we at, you know. Our people are at the point of no return. You know, there's nothing that you can do to rehabilitate a lot of our people. And, uh, you know, if you haven't seen it already, you know, this is uh, the so-called black woman, all right, in her folly. Um, normally, when you see our women do this, you know, because, uh, you know, that's one of the major things that society has picked up about our our uh, so-called uh, women. When our women do these kind of dances, like twerking, that's kind of like an act of triumph. They they start to dance like that when they think that they won. This is kind of like a victory dance for them. But really all it does is it shows the world that you know you're you're nothing to really hard hold in regards to dignity, you know, respect. This is why the nations see us the way they see us. When you don't have any dignity or self respect for yourself, why 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 would you think that they would uh, look at you and have the same level of respect that they have for for others, other nations. Because you don't see their women doing what you see our women do. But anyway, you see the title, and I don't even think I need to play the video. All right, this is was definitely disgusting, disturbing, and definitely an embarrassment. And this is why the majority of our people are not going to make it. All right, and it's, uh, to get a quick scripture, uh, let me get uh, Lamentations 3 and uh, verse 48, and I'm going to jump down to uh, verse 51. And it says, Lamentations 3 and 48, it says, Mine eye runneth down with rivers of water for the destruction of the daughter of my people. All right, and, um, you know, you could just look at our women, and that's how you know that our nation is totally destroyed, just based off of the conduct. I forget who made that statement. I forgot who said it, but he said you can tell the destruction of a nation by their women. And, um, you know, she represents, all right, this, uh, this, this, uh, Coon winch woman, you know, this this uh, buffoonery that represents a lot of our women, you know, who are at the forefront of Esau society that Esau is using and putting in these uh, different, you know, uh, uh, positions of power, you know, just so that um, she'd be able to do his dirty work. All right. And a lot of a lot of our women, they feel just like this woman right here. This is just how they showcase their uh, triumphing. All right, Kamala, or which she does not represent you, even though she's been packaged. You know, she's been put together, packaged. You know, to uh, be presented as someone that represent women of color, especially you so-called black women, and you black women want to live vicariously through her. So you think that you won. Yo, 
So you're going to see a lot of this going on, man. A lot of women twerking at, uh, 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 you know, monuments. All right, this is a big win, a big victory for the LGBT. All right, the, 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 the feminists, the lesbos. So they're, 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 they're uh, happy right now. They're in uh, triumph mode. But, and, and, and if you feel any kind of, um, optimism, you know, you feel any type of, uh, you know, pleasure and, and joy and, and, and victory in this, in, in, in this state, when you got so, so much wickedness that's increasing, when you see this devil is, is spreading himself even more in power, which is leading further to your own destruction, then that means that you worship the image of the beast. You are one with the, with the image of this beast. And you might as well take the mark, man. All right, and once you and, and and if you're one, if you're one with this this beast system, you're an enemy to the Most High. Micah seven and ten. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, because this is gonna backfire, man. All you women that are in this spirit, and I'm I'm y'all know I'm not talking about you sisters. I'm talking about the women in this world, the that are still in the world. I think that this is some, some kind of victory. And uh, this is supposed to be uh, uh, commemorated for a so-called MLK, which, you know, he was another uh, boule uh, sellout that admitted right before he died that before he, you know, when he saw the truth, he admitted that he led his people into a burning house. He said that. And then they offed him. So basically, he, he, he reneged on everything that he said. All right, and you here you are to this very day, you're still embarrassing yourselves in his name. And then you have more of a reason to embarrass yourself now that you got what you wanted. You got your Sleepy Joe, which he's just a, a New World Order puppet that they're using, as well as uh, Camel Toe uh, Harris. So going back, let me go back to Lamentations, man. It says, mine eye runneth down with rivers of water for the destruction of the daughter of my people. And you're destroyed, man. The scriptures say my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because you don't know who you are, man. And it, it also tells us in Proverbs, the way of the wicked seduces our people. Okay? So all our people know is, is, is hypersexuality. And that's what black culture uh, 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 basically... That that's what black culture is 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 fixed with, you know. Promiscuity, liberalism, hypersexuality, man. It seems like that's the only way they know how to express themselves, man. That's how you. That's how you know. That's a nation that's that's destroyed. Verse 51, it says, Mine eye affected mine heart because of all the daughters of my city. All right, and, and hey, you know, you're, you're an embarrassment, man. All right? That's all, it's, it's like that's all you're known for. All right, when the world sees this, they see <laughs> so-called black people. And that's why, you know, we, us Israelites, you know, we put off that whole black stigma a long time ago. We don't, we don't deal with being black. This is what it means to be black right here. All right, that's black culture, man, which is toxic. All right, the serpent, he okayed that because he knew it would destroy you. I don't know if this is I don't know if this is worse or that little commercial that came out months ago where they had them women twerking 
You know, talking about, uh, 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 you know, get your booty to the pole. You have literal strippers, you know, uh, stripping, uh, hanging down a pole, talking about get your booty to the pole and vote. That was an embarrassment. That was a, a low point. This is another low point. And it just shows we've been way too long in this society, man, in, this, in, in Babylon. They totally wear it off on, on, on our people. That's why two-thirds of you are not going to make it. All right, you've, you've, since you've been here, you deteriorated. And that's what, let me go to uh, Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah 2. Jeremiah 2 and 21, it says, Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed, and that's what we're supposed to be, right? How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? And that's what you've become, man. You've deteriorated as a as a people. Now you're just strange. You know? Right? These were once a, a, a people that had a set of, you know, morals. They had laws, statutes, and judgments that governed them. But you intermingle with, with, with the devil... And now you're just as degenerate as 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 Esau, <laughs> that fornicator, that profane person. And now it's being shown that you, hey, you're, and I'm and, and and even though this a you know I'm I'm talking about our nation as a whole, but I'm dealing with you women, man. We're at this time right now where your nature is being uncovered, just like how Babylon is being uncovered and exposed the lord said he would lift up the skirts on on, on babylon and, and and everybody will see your nakedness and your shame well hey uh the so-called black woman all right your your shame is also being uh seen as well matter of fact let me go to uh uh jeremiah 13 in verse uh start at verse 26 This is uh, Jeremiah 13 and 26. It says, Therefore will I discover thy skirts upon thy face, that thy shame may appear. All right, and our women, they will not cover their shame. Okay? Because the serpent, he gave them the license to be shameless. That's what the, that's what the serpent uh, uh, promised Eve in the garden, man. All right? And now that you got uh you know the 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 uh the the the, the, the globalists you know using Biden and, and Kamala you know to uh you know bring forth their globalist uh, uh communist liberal setup y'all happy as hell cuz y'all know what that mean okay more more uh uh, uh, immorality, more sexual depravity, more uh, 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 power to, the, to to these women and these feminists. You can get even more loose, but that's all to your own destruction, man. Verse twenty-seven it says, "I have seen thine adulteries and thy names, the lewdness of thy whoredom." All right, and when you see our women out there like that, that's that's an act of lewdness. All right, that that's an act of uh, uh, the, the lewdness of their whoredom, being whores. Okay, due to the the uh, the culture, hypersexualized man. And what is lewdness? The act of what? Indecency. Let me uh search that. Lewdness involving or being uh sexual conduct that is considered indecent or offensive, licentious. Okay? And that's a hey, 
Esau, you know, his 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 fashion of, of life is the is being licentious. That was the way of ancient Greece and ancient Rome. All right, and we're and we're still under that same uh, uh, setup. All right, and, and the world is wandering after the beast, especially our people. Okay. So going back, I'm gonna read it again. It says, "I have seen thine adulteries." And this is the Most High speaking. I have seen thine adulteries and thy names and the lewdness of thy whoredom. And thine abominations on the hills in the fields. All right, and this woman is twerking on them hills, man. Twerking at the monuments. All right, for the for the world to see it, and she, of course, she got on, you know, those little uh, uh, American flag, uh, 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 you know, little boy shorts she got on. And you know what? Hey, that's a perfect representation because this place is spiritually known as what? The great whore, the mother of harlots. So that's spiritual too. You women, y'all represent the essence of Babylon. All right. And the Lord is, he's, he's lifting up the skirts. He's, 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 uh, you know, uh, uh, uncovering the thigh, uh, making bare the leg. That's what he's doing. And then he's going to just destroy you, man. This place has to be destroyed. All right, and that's really the only solution, man. Because they're not going to get it together. They're not going to repent. You're going to have just a remnant of, of, of them that's going to repent. And come out of this madness, man. Anyway. Let me go back. And it says... Woe unto thee, O Jerusalem, will thou not be made clean? When shall it once be? You know, woe unto you, man. You know, if our people don't cleanse their way, the Lord's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna do them something, man. Let me, let me get that in uh, Isaiah, the first chapter. Isaiah 1 and verse, uh, Yeah, this is Isaiah 1 In uh, 18 it says Come now and let us reason together Saith the Lord Though your sins be as scarlet They shall be as white as snow Though they be red like crimson They shall be as wool If you be willing and obedient You shall eat the good of the land But if you refuse and rebel You shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of the Lord have spoken it. All right. So if you don't change your ways, man, and and and, and you want to rebel, then hey, you know, you're gonna get devoured out here, man. And the Lord's gonna use Esau because he's the sword of the Most High. You see. So the Lord is still trying to be long suffering with Jake. Meanwhile, Jake is just, just gone. All right. And that's why the Lord is using, you know, his, his servants, the prophets to go out there and give them warning. While you got time, while the Lord is the, the while the, you know, the day draw nigh, man, you still got time to hurry up and, and, and get yourself right, man, and repent. But a lot of our people, you know, they, they you know, they're going to go after their own heart's lust. All right, and, hey, and she that liveth from pleasure is dead while she liveth. She don't even know that she's a, a walking corpse. I'm talking about these uh, these liberated women. All right, and the Lord's going to allow this devil to turn on them. And you're going to learn why you, you was never supposed to trust, the, trust your enemy, trust this devil. There's nothing to be happy about. Like Ecclesiastes 7 and 4, it is better to go to the house of mourning then to go to the house of mirth. But anyway, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm 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 gonna cut it right there. It was just my response. I was kind of like venting a little bit, 
you know, after I saw that, you know, and I, and I wasn't going to, you know, play this video because it was going to, you know, further, you know, vex me, which, you know, I'm already vexed, but, you know, I, I couldn't play it, you know. If y'all want to watch it, y'all go ahead and, and, and watch it, you know, but, you know, this, 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 is, this, is, uh, this is a disgrace, man. All right, and that's why, you know, we only concerned with the elect. All right, there, there, there's really no hope for the majority of our people, man, especially our women. So you sisters out there that, that you know, that, that, that are awoken, consider yourself blessed that the Lord pulled you away, man. And uh, with that, I'm going to end off. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to y'all. Bashim Yahweh Shai. And to the next lesson, Shalom.